The Oklahoma Sooners took down the main Black Bears 59 to 14. Uh, this is the result we expected, Bobby. They covered the uh, spread, which I believe was like 40 and a half or something like that. 34 and uh, a half. Oh, oh, 30, 30, 34 and a half. Uh, even better. <laughs> we, easier, easier benchmark uh, for the Sooners to cover. Um, you know, congratulating OU on winning this game kind of feels like your wife congratulating you on taking the trash out. Like, doesn't really, <laughs> doesn't that really feel like something you could be like overly excited about? But I will, we'll, 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 we'll um, discuss this for the recap. Um, what did the Sooners do in this game, if anything, that they can carry over to um, these next few opponents, which um, are going to be tough at Missouri, Bama at home at LSU? I don't know if there is much. Uh, this is a main team that was outmatched for the majority of the game. Um, and it should be noted, they took the lead. They, they 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 forced OU to punt on their first drive and then drove down the field and scored. And I gotta say, I, I know OU won, they covered, big win. There's never been a more sick fan base that was just so mad at that moment that they just got kind of blown off the ball early. And it it was it was definitely not a good feeling across the board. People were were really pissed. But overall, um I don't know. It, it's 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 really incongruent with the rest of your opponents. Uh, this this is a main team that overall not very good. Um, you just you could just tell when you, especially after the past couple of weeks of seeing SEC teams and then seeing tiny little Maine run out there, um, that there was a disadvantage. Um, I, I think one thing that you can take away from. You know, zero sacks is is nice. You know, um, I think overall it's just a confidence booster for a program and a team that has been down bad um, to get a win, get that winning feeling back. That is the biggest thing you can take away is just kind of vibes of not having the stink of a losing streak streak on you and kind of a mental reset, I would say. Um, so really, it, it's more like if there's anything to take away. It's it's slight vibes. Football wise, there's not much. Yeah, I, I can see how you would say that. I, if I was going to reach for anything, I would say, like, these last few weeks, you know, a couple of losses. Obviously, this is a big win, but Jackson Arnold has played better um, in these last few games. And obviously, in this one, it, there was a chance where he could have a really good game and it boosts his confidence going into, you know, three really tough, tough games. Um you know, 15 for 21 here, 224, two touchdowns, you know, efficient game. Um, you know, you will allow for your running back to do most of the dirty work. Um, you know, Barnes had 203 yards, three touchdowns. I mean, that was a huge game for him. But, um, you know, Arnold kind of there were, took the pressure off him a little bit. Um, like you mentioned, um, you know, it was, it was it was a pretty clean game for the offense, and I think like that's something that you kind of need to be able to say, okay, like you know, a couple of weeks now under Joe John Finley, um, you know, we're we can move the ball a little bit better. We're making things work. We're, we're we we can see positive plays happening. Now we just got to go to Missouri you know, and, and and see what we can do. And that's the first step. Yeah, no, I, I, absolutely. And, you know, um, this team is one win away from bowl eligibility. You face three tough opponents down the stretch, but all you need to do is steal one. Um, and I think there is some stuff that is working. Uh, Javante Barnes, uh, the past few games has been excellent. Uh, they've been really good at finding kind of getting him open in space and just bulldozing forward. So you, um, you're getting a lot of strength there on in the running back uh, the category there with Barnes. Uh, J.J. Hester, uh, the wide receiver, has stepped up and had a couple big moments. Uh, Jacob Jordan uh, continues to look good, uh, the walk-on from Southlake Carroll. Um, so, yeah, there there is a little bit of optimism there. Um, 
not only that, also got a little bit of a solid at work uh, on the offensive line with Eddie Pierre Louis, uh, the true freshman, uh, you know, offensive lineman. So I don't know. There, there's it is Maine. I get it, but there was definitely a lot of stuff that makes you think. You know, maybe this thing is slightly heading in the right direction. You know, um, a nice reset to you know kind of get things going before Columbia. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, again, you got. You got to get to bowl, bowl eligibility. You know, if you're OU, that's it's a it's a program where like, you know, very very, we we know how successful that this program has been, and so to have a year where you're scrapping for it seems so strange. But you got three opportunities in front of you. The only downside, I guess, is the, these three teams are also fighting for their you know, postseason lives in terms of making the college football playoff. Um, so um, that's that's what you have in front of you, but you got to go out and beat and beat somebody um, over the next few weeks. So we will, Bobby and I will be here to, um, to preview all of those games, um, recap all of those games, but it starts uh, in Columbus, as Bobby mentioned. But yeah, this, that's, That'll be it for this one. I don't think we need to drag this this really out. A uh, great win for the Sooners, uh, and you got a, a big week. You we get, you have a big week ahead of you, and uh, we'll be here to preview that uh, right here on Sleepers. So stay tuned. We'll see you then. Football season is here. Money is out there to be had in the form of winning bets, and our friends at my book. You want to make it easy for you to do just that. Yeah, and coming into football season, you're going to have games all weekend happening everywhere. And Gregory, where is the only place that Sleepers Media places all bets? I can tell you right now, since last February, February 1st to be exact, my bookie is the only place that I have placed a sports bet. I love my bookie. They make it easy. They get you quick payouts. They have awesome promo offers. In fact, card, they've got one right now that football fans everywhere and listeners of this show are going to want to take advantage of. Yeah, using promo code SLEEPERS, that's promo code SLEEPERS, you can take advantage of a 50% instant deposit bonus right now. That's 50% instant deposit bonus up to $1,000 over at MyBookie. Use promo code SLEEPERS and happy betting. Home dogs aren't dogs, they're wolves. I'm trying to flip that into like sport, like home sports books aren't books, they're novels. We'll work on it. That didn't work. Go my bookie promo code sleepers.